Hey everybody! Ooh, look at that hair. Alright, I definitely gone insane. Insane! In the last few months. Everybody, I just wanted to give a store update. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about what's happening in the toy store and I wanna, you know, give a little update of how things are going along. First of all, before I start, start anything, I wanna give a moment of silence to our friends at Nerdzoic. Matt has fallen. Please roll the sad clip. <laughs> May he one day stand up. Nah, nah. Enough iron, he just fell. Maybe hurt a ligament, has a small little bruise, sent me many terrible pictures. Other people's pain. Alright, but no, in fairness now. So let's get on to it. The new NECA is chugging along right nicely. Uh, we just got our Steel Clan and Angelica. Jalila? Angela! Alright, that's the word. Sorry. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see that. Next thing, sir. Jaina Toys! This line is really, like, I was totally wrong on it. Originally ordered, like, 12 pieces of each character and I was like, ah, the Street Fighter. Well, it seems the reviews are in, that people love the price point of the figures and they love, well, the figure and the box and plastic. Obviously, me underestimating the demand. I didn't order enough, so I had to make order multiple amounts from multiple distributors and it means that my orders are going to be staggered. I received first 12 Ryus and then the first 12 Feng, Jay Feng, Feng Longs. Oh God. Oh God. I have braces on or Invisalign though. So I can't even talk properly, which is why I've been... Uh, a bit conscious about doing videos because I know my words are a bit slurred. For those who don't know, this, this line is like a teeth. It's like the modern braces now, so that's what I have on. I got my first 12 Ryus and my first 12 Feng Longs, and I'm going to receive another 24 Ryus in the next shipment, and another 24 Feng Longs in another shipment, and then I'm going to receive my bigger amount of 48 Ryus and another 48 Feng Longs in the third shipment. That's, that's a lot. The problem is that because I'm slowly realizing how popular the line is turning out to be, I'm getting my shipments in waves and it's being staggered because every time I place an order, the distributor doesn't look at all my orders that I still have in the back. they just like, okay, you ordered 12 at whatever. Whatever. November, they won't even see my December orders and then they'll be like, okay, here's the November orders. And even though I have my December orders, they haven't reached that part of the line. So it's just like us, you know, they order according to your queue. That's what's happening there. I'm gonna take you a little around the shop. It is a bit messy because we just received two pallets. I'll carry you guys around. You guys are heavy. Joy toy fully in, so seems like it's picking up a lot of steam since ever since the Henry Cavill Amazon partnership kind of things. Joy toy has obviously been picking up. So I'm pretty excited for it. I'm also a giant uh, Warhammer nerd, so Cosmic Legion has come in also. Obviously, it's going pretty good. So pretty successful first wave actually. Hey, success. The line looks like it has a great future. In Montreal, August 11th, we're gonna have something called the Otakuton, which is essentially an anime fan fest. So we'll be there just vending. It's all anime centric, so we just have all our anime stuff there ready to go. Let's see. Oh, guess who's back? Hey guys. Guess who's back? Yeah, I got into McFarlane again. Now I know I have a, such a love-hate relationship with McFarlane. They don't tell me what I'm gonna get, or they don't promise you that I'm gonna get it. Same time, no other company abuses me as much, but they have Batman. I'm Batman. I need Bat in my store, right? What kind of store would I be if I didn't have Batman? So we're back at McFarlane again. We'll see how it goes. Going back to uh, McFarlane, I'm also friends with uh, Bandai again. Hey, friends, friends, friends. <gasps> we're not friends, just I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that is friends with somebody that is friends with Bandai. We're gonna start carrying their figures again. So, you know, that means Mokoshiwa. So yeah, we're gonna start carrying more of the Godzilla SH figure arts and monster arts. Well. Okay, Godzilla Monster Arts, the other SH stuff. All right, what is new with the industry? A lot of big manufacturers have dialed back their quantities of orders. For example, our G.I. Joe Arctic Bat. We are currently out of stock. We do plan to get a restock, but because I don't have an ETA from the American distributors, I'm just not going to pre-order because they came in stock. We sold out. We got a restock. It sold out. And then I tried to order a third time and they said they're just out of stock in Canada. So I was like, okay, well, I ordered from the U.S. And well, when they come back, we'll have them as an in-stock item. But till then, I don't want to take pre-orders on it because... I just don't have a date of when they will actually arrive. Number two. So with the allocation going down, I've seen McFarland and Hasbro both pull back massively on their allocation of number of units they're bringing in. Pull back, pull back. I do expect a lot of things to start becoming a bit more scarce or selling out and not being restocked. I do believe some of these pricing might actually get reversed, but like in 2024, 2025, I believe that some of these companies actually might not do any more price increases and they might actually dial it back a bit. It's not confirmed from anybody, just somebody's stepsister's uncle's father told me that they might be working on a way to get you know prices back down. Don't, don't hold me back. Number two is there is a massive... All the big manufacturers right now are because of last year's May. If you remember, like when we were just having a lot of stores close and a lot of stores were just like going out of business, Dorkside and some other Big Apple games or something like that. Like there was a few stores, especially in the U.S. and a few in Canada, they went out of business or they just 
started to close down with that happening with gas prices you know going up and then price products prices going up and all that inflation and crap what happened is now because a lot of customers have pulled back because you know it becomes unsustainable people are just not ready for all this new change in life where the new pricing tier of all these toys sales like dropped a lot during the last year during may and june inventory was coming in like the bottleneck was just like exploded last year of june we, we spent over like hundred thirty thousand dollars in just one month just buying inventory and it's like a lot of stores are like really like oh we can't afford all this all in one time and with that a lot of stores did end up closing and this year i see a lot of the big brand companies so hasbro mcfarland you can match some of the others they are pulling out their treasured gems so you're getting your really wanted batmans your really wanted spider-mans and all these figures that you really want before like they've been slowly slow rolling it they decided like hey you know what this is the year we need to make sure we make money let's make some money so we got to hit our gold label Batmans and our articulated leg Spider-Mans and, you know, the best X-Man wave. This year onwards, I expect to see a lot of amazing products. That's what I've seen. So all my pre-orders for all these items, I'm like, wow, this is like the best thing. Oh, this is the best of that. This is, you know, your best Superman. This is your best everything. So I'm just like, okay, well, this year, I think for this Christmas time, expect to see a lot of reprints of really want figures. Everything that you really like wanted to see. You're gonna see it this year or the beginning of next year. That's what I'm seeing right now from my from my pre-order. So you're definitely gonna see it really soon. I mean, a lot of black series. So like Star Wars has definitely taken a hit. You were the chosen one in the last year. With that, you're also gonna see a lot of companies. They don't want to risk buying things that are less popular. Yeah, I haven't seen many Power Ranger pre-order Indiana Jones like. The movie, movie flopped, I haven't seen. While the line seems to be doing really well, I don't know, they, I don't think they want to go deep with it. Ooh, updated. My arena. So for those who don't, who have, for those who don't come to the physical store, I have a small like little arena here. It's like, a, it's like a castle. And I put my figures around it. Now I got, I opened up my first, well, that's my first Mythic Legion, the Black Knight. But then we got the, the dinosaur battlefield, which I think is really cool. Oh, Vader. Vader protects the candy. Probably for me because I have a sweet tooth. Uh, let's see what else is going on. All right, so we were able to find a few Optimus Primals. Optimus Prime 38. It's an old figure that we were able to find in a warehouse on sale now. Next thing, I, it's the weirdest thing that we're seeing. Pause that for a minute. Okay, be pause or on pause. I don't know. This apparently was like exclusive for San Diego Comic Con. Transformers Wardon pack. We have a million of it and we keep restocking it. So if you guys are still looking for it, it is available here at toysnowman.com. Um, funny thing is, so that girl is called Ariel, but they spelled it weird. They call it Ariel. Like it's pronounced Ariel, but it's with E R I L. My tinfoil hat theory is that the house of mouse told him, you don't take Ariel. Ariel's a. This will Can't have that. Anyway, yeah, there, there's a lot of boxes all around, so it's a bit late right now, so I'm still just trying to put it all on the shelf. But yeah, so things have been pretty good. Mm. Just trying to prepare for the event, Otakutan, because uh, we're planning to have two booths there. We're doubling our size, because last year was just phenomenal for us. For those who don't know, we had our Canada Day sale, and I just want a huge thank, thank you to everybody that participated. This year's Canada Day, I cut it short, actually. I was planning to have it like July 1st to July 4th, but on July 1st, I just saw our sales. We did 10X our usual, our daily volume. We did like $36,000 sales in 24 hours. And I was just like, okay, there's like gonna be like 400 orders or something. Like we need to hit the pause button and end the sale within 24 hours. So I just gave everybody notice like, hey, our sales only gonna be for 24 hours. Cause when I just saw numbers, I'm like, no, we'll be backlogged for way too long. That's why I kind of made the sale only one day this year you guys are also great but i don't want to make your orders wait so long so that's why i made the sale one day that it helps i'll still try to hopefully make the black friday three days maybe maybe two we'll see how it goes so i don't know that was a pretty quick and small update but i just want to put a video out there because two hours ago i was just on my phone and i got a notification it's like hey congratulations you're at 1000 subscribers i'm like what and i was like oh i haven't posted in like forever and then i know people are coming in and joining so liking so i guess you guys really like the content so i'm happy to keep creating more otherwise um thank you all for the support and Stay frosty.